culture part of it has been something that we've all been trying to think about how best to keep that intact. So the, the first week we were all home, um, we started what we call work from hots, work from home ots. We do something at the office called beer on the stairs every Friday, so bots. So now it's the work from hots, work from home hots. So we've been doing Friday happy hours with the whole team and we're starting to theme those and we have different questions that are being asked and different things that different employees are leading so that they feel like they have a part in helping to craft what that hour looks like. So we're doing that every Friday at four. I've been checking in with each department. I pick a different department every day and I check in and just do wellness checks on everybody. And, and I do it individually, not as a group, because I think it's important just as a leader to have that individual touch point and people might be a little bit more honest if, if we're able to uh, talk one-on-one. -on -one. So that's something I've been, I've been keeping up with daily. And, and something that we also introduced at the agency, which is really fun, it's called Crowley Connections. And the idea is that it's an opt-in program for any of our employees. And the idea being that you get paired with someone new and you have a month to get together, whether it's for a cup of coffee or a drink or to take a walk or to do something. And so we've been keeping up with Crowley Connections and encouraging people to still meet and if they feel comfortable taking a socially distant walk together, that's something they can do, but otherwise have a video chat or do something uh, because it's important that we keep that contact, that we keep checking in on each other. We, we out of the gate told them we want to see the kids, we want to hear the kids, we want to see the dogs, the cats, the, we have a, a rabbit in the family that someone <laughs> brings to meetings and different things. So we embrace that, we encourage that, we, we also made a time code because we do timesheets daily. We made a time code for COVID-19 so that if someone is experiencing downtime related to the pandemic, whether it's because their clients aren't as busy or because they're spending more time homeschooling or doing that type of work, um, that they aren't going to get penalized for that. And so we want them though to be tracking their time so that we're aware of the impact it's having on our business. And also for those who may have downtime that we're able to potentially get to some of those back burner agency projects that we haven't been able to get to in the past and start working on some of those things.